Hey all, morning. Um, yep, yeah, another day in St. Vincent. We are not doing much today. So, um, actually, got my cousin there uh, grating some um. coconut. Uh, we're gonna make some coconut dumpling Hello. and some salt fish and whatever. I might do a little cum cook with Hello, it. Dude, um, yeah, that's my cousin in the background. Um, so that's probably what we're gonna be doing today. I can't yeah, cook with me, incension style. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, guys, if you yeah, like this sort of content, yeah, please don't forget to hit the subscribe come, button. That would be amazing if you could, or just give me a heart, give me a Vinci flag, big up all the Vinci's, big up all the... That's one thing I would say with us intentions. We are definitely very loving people. Look, there's bad and good in every community. You get the few ones that love commerce. Love Kermes, they will see you talking yeah, with John today no, no. and then run to town to tell no, your no, husband no. that you've got holy per man in your house. <laughs> but really, the majority are just loving people and they, you know, you just say you need help and you're going to see a batch of them at your house helping you. Just very loving people. Um, yeah, so we're going to do a bit of cook with me. The island is looking beautiful and green again. The sun is out. It's about uh, 25 at the moment not bad and look who is here again this is not uh, a barrel Bastion. it's someone else let me uh, uh, another dog i don't know where this one's come from <coughs> he's back in the same spot having a little bit of a lie down now he remind, i don't know if you look at his head part you know just look at his head part and then the body uh. doesn't go with it now is this a terrier again run, run. what breed of dog is this one is it the same as the last one i showed you i still haven't made a name up for him he's got a few spots on his back spotty spotless maybe i call him spotless i'm not sure you know every everybody in saint vincent they've got like a nickname you never find anyone i never know really anyone's real name because they've got all nicknames don't know how they get them they just get stuck with it but oh i'm gonna find some milk or water for him now Okay, so we're starting to boil the salt fish. Now, the salt fish, if you're not a Vincentian or don't really cook salt fish, we have to really boil the, the, the salt of this. This is what keeps it fresh and all the rest of it. And it gives it a lovely, lovely, lovely flavour. Um, this, so we boil this for a while and it softens the, the meat as well. So that's what we're starting off with now. Now, we didn't buy anything. So we've got, um, I think this is thyme got a bit of thyme and we've got these uh, sweet peppers we're grating some coconut to make some coconut dumpling we've got some more sweet peppers here we um, got some celery that we found in there we're just gonna make the use of it chop it in there uh, we have some onions and we have some cucumbers don't know what we're doing with cucumbers I've got you know what when you are a visitor to St. Vincent you've got family you know, you're always getting things. They're always, I mean, you know, because the island has so much producers here. Um, I've got so, my cousin just came. He's got one of these trees. What do you call this again? I can't remember what you call these again. Um, and he's bought a load of them, like a load. And we've got some here spoiling. In fact, I've got to clean this all up. Um, and they bring little flies when they start going off. And look what else he's bought. Hold on. He's bought a load of these. We call it avocado. They have another name, abaguga or something. I can't remember the name they call it here, but a load of avocado. Um, they're still quite, I don't know if I'd be able to take some to England, but this, this would cost about three pounds in our money, easily in, 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 in the UK, easily. And look, look at this. We've got loads. Ugh. Someone else has bought us a um, load of bananas. They look like they, they oh, they, I don't know, if, I, don't, I can't tell. If, well, it looks like they're going off to me. I mean, are they? Or they, they're ripening, I'm not sure what's happening with them. And then some plantains here. We get, we've got, I've, I've tried to chuck a lot of this away because people every time, every time they come, they're bringing something. That's, that's how, you know, Vincentian people are, they never really come empty handed. Let me see if uh, Barrel's come to visit me because I'm surprised I haven't seen him this, her this morning. 
No, it's still this one here. Um, I wonder if she's okay. It's got me a bit worried. Let's see if I can see her around the yard. Oh, oh, there she is. Barrel. Barrel. Oi, what are you doing down there? How come I haven't seen you this morning? She's starting to itch again. I'm gonna have to um, get some, well, to be honest with you, I say I'm gonna get some tick or flea spray, but what happens when I leave? What happens when I leave? No one's gonna attend to her. Ugh. You coming up? You coming up? What are you doing? Oh, cute dog. So the the um, coconut is all grated. You can see there. Now, sometimes people squeeze this to make coconut juices and stuff like this. But um, this was what I think this was one or two coconut grated here, and we grow we grate it with the actual shell. So the shell is in there, but it's done on this um, this fine gratering. And uh, yeah, man, we are gonna have some wicked coconut dumpling today. Yes. So my pot is going nicely. Um, I'll, I'll show you the process. The, the, the um, salt fish is still um, boiling. We done. You know, you do the prep work. You know what I mean. You do the prep work. Um, yeah. So that's still doing there. I'm gonna. Um, I'm not gonna do it. Bothered, but I'm gonna clean up a bit, you know, straighten up. Everyone's left the house. My auntie and my cousin, who's come over from Saint Croix, Saint Croix, yeah, Saint Croix. Um, they no, my auntie's from Trinidad and my cousin's from um, Saint Croix, and they came over for the funeral I was telling you about. And they've gone to town because one is traveling on Sunday, one is traveling, I think Wednesday. So they've gone to town, but I, I, I can't be, I can't be asked with town. Town is, this is kind of our Sunday, uh, Saturday. And you know, we've been for a crisis and I thought they would have called off um, Carnival, but boy, there's going to be big jump up down in uh, Carnival, there, down there in town. I'm, yeah, I'm going to be hitting there as well. So I will be vlogging that. Um, I haven't been to Carnival in St. Vincent for a few years, good now. Um, so I'm interested to see you know I, was, I wanted to go to one of those um i saw a place where they had a lot of the costumes they were selling i wouldn't mind you know what i mean i still can do masks but probably too late for that now so i'll have to um leave that out yeah i'm too old <laughs> yeah so yeah so what else am i doing well anyway you follow me today anyway and see what else i'm doing in it to be honest with you you'll see what else i'm doing today um this is a life, to be honest with you. I know we had a bit of a little bit, a bit of glitch with the carnival and that for a few days. But I tell you what, it felt like we was on lockdown, like with the COVID for two, three days. No current, no internet, no light. Jesus Christ, that was depressing. People, as I said, we don't know how privileged we are when we do have these things. So I am just grateful and giving God thanks. I'm giving God thanks for life. Um, and obviously if he wanted us to travel on Wednesday, we would have traveled on Wednesday. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll go when, 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 when flights open up, which is, I think, I tried to get an earlier one, but as I said, we're leaving Tuesday. We're leaving Tuesday. But anyway, I've got a lot of things to look forward to when I get down to the UK. I've got a, a bit of um, theatres that I'm going to go to. Look, life is too short and I'm going to make the most of it. And I'm sharing it with you guys, you know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sharing it with you guys. I've got loads of stuff, uh, content to give you guys when I get back to the UK. You're gonna see UK lifestyle to Caribbean lifestyle. You know where I am going because um, I'm going to, uh, where I do want to go is Jamaica. Because if you guys don't know, my mother's from St. Vincent, South Rivers, but my dad is from Jamaica. We are more for the Vincentian side. No disrespect to JA because we big you up as well. But um, growing up, we just knew everything about St. Vincent. My mum is a very strong Vincentian woman. So JM man couldn't mess with her, I'm telling you. Um, and all our holidays were in St. Vincent. I have been to Jamaica a few times, but uh, we're more acquainted with our Vincentian side. But I do want to get to know my JA side too. So I will be going out there to see uh, a few of my cousins that are in Jamaica. And um, I'm, I'm, I've got 
family all over the world and I'm making it my business to travel to each destination to big up my family but I'm my YouTube family I'm bringing my YouTube family with me too mate I'm bringing you guys with every step of the way you know what I mean like as I said life is too short live up love one love to all of you that's how I'm feeling this morning very grateful very grateful all right loves let's maybe go and check my pot yeah and stop chatting shit <laughs> just tell me stop chatting shit just put a poo emoji if you want <laughs> if you think I'm chatting shit no problem that's all right <laughs> bring us some bananas I guess this is gonna go with our salt fish see all this is so expensive in the UK and people are giving it away there we are cooking the bananas in the skin it's a lot of bananas but we're cooking for a whole family and the salt fish is already done it's just soaking in some fresh water there someone's just bought this can tell someone tell me what this is called apparently you boil it and you drink it looks like dog shit to me to be honest <laughs> um but obviously it's got very good benefits but i don't know what it's called people keep bringing things and i don't i've never seen this before i don't think i have or have i i, I can't remember i don't know what it is w what is this called does anyone know A lot of garlic here. We cut some cucumbers, cabbage. cabbage is over here. Sorry, this is cucumber. The cabbage is here. The cabbage is here. So the cabbage is here, and the cucumbers are here. So we got any? We, we ain't got no tomatoes, have we? No. Tell me what this is. How the fuck it is it? What what is that good for? And what is it? No, this one is a bone detox. Okay, bone detox. Bone detox. So you does um, what what you does with it? You does boil it? You could boil and could put it in water just and drink. This one is a blood detox. Blood detox. What does yeah. that call it? Sarsaparilla fruit. Oh, so uh, what does it do? Grow in the ground? No, this don't grow in the ground. This grow on, on top of vine. Okay, okay, on top the of root. Right. This is a root of a plant that grow. Yes. Under the ground, but so it's good for the, the it's good for the bone. Good for the bone. Detox your okay. bone, make a when you're doing health and nature, right? Yeah. You detox your blood mm -hmm. with the sarsaparilla. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. After your blood and detox, right, you have thing remaining in the bone. Oh. So you use the brania. Oh. So you, you you boil that first and then you no, use. No 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 no. Okay. You combine all in one. Okay, so you, you boil them together? Yes, a little okay. bit of everything. A little bit of everything. So you chip a piece of this. Okay. And put it in the hot water. And I put it in, I put it in, it in the cold water. Yes. You're not putting it in the cold water. Right. You take this one here, wash it up properly, cut it up like I cut up carrots. Right. Put it in the water. Okay. Boil in. Right, 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 you right. You just chip a piece of this sticky. Okay. Put it in the water, boil in. After five minutes, you're out of fire. Okay, okay. And you leave it as that. No problem. When All right. Whenever you drink out. Is it bitter? It has flavor. Oh, it has flavor. Okay, I'll go Chili, try. You know, clove. Okay. And you put sugar? Spice. Can I put sugar? No, if you want the sweet, it'll come like a humbug in yourself and a detoxin. Okay, okay. Come like a making tea. Right, I'll go try it. I'll Doctor go try it. That's enough to use no sugar. Okay, Doctor okay. Doctor never gets to tell you sugar. All right. No problem. My name is Dennis. Dennis, tell 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 me YouTubers what your name is and where you're Dennis. from. Dennis. Yes. Yeah. From Dennis. Stops community bush doctor. Bush doctor. He yeah. just made me a, a, a remedy. What was the remedy you just made me? No, I know tell about the sarsaparilla. No, it's a bloody thing. Yeah, but what you did just give me in a bottle. That is brand of wine. Okay. With grape, 
Okay. And clove and spice and okay. a little bit of um, honey. Okay. Jai sweet, and they call it a jai brand of wine. Okay then. Yeah, look at here. Where's my glass? Yeah, look at you. Okay, he's drinking it now. He bought me a bottle. Yeah. I, there you so go. Then, uh, when I drink that now, you don't want alcohol. Right. That is not a lot of alcohol. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That's and you have something called dandelion. Okay, okay. You have one called kata root. Wow. You have one called kojo root. Jesus, well, I don't know all these things. You have one called part of my life root. Yes, 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 yes. And you have mini root. Okay, okay. Right, uh -huh. so you drink these herbs now, yeah. the whole system inside is your temple. Of course. Right, so clean your temple. Yes. It's all in mass of destruction. Well, we got to look after our temple, isn't it? Yeah, if you do that now, yes. you're eating all kind of waste. Yes. And junks. Right, right, and right. Consume a lot of alcohol system food. Okay. Chemical okay. system food. All right. So you need to detach them out of your system with food that go without no chemical at all. Okay, okay. And you call those food now herbs. All right. Well, yeah, it's I, I not learned that. Okay, okay. It's not a job, it's just natural herbs. Okay. So Vince and here now carry different herbs that the worldwide need it. Okay, uh, well, you're telling them, you're telling them, you're yeah, telling, I'm telling them. Yeah, telling them that. Wall of Vinci, wall need natural herbs. Right. Hi, right. can go right now, we have no food. Hey, hi, how are you? Only herbs. Good. Okay. Right? And yeah. medical herbs. Yes. Can buy the doctor to get a chemical in your herbs. All right, all right. You call it, you call it, you call it pharmacy, a pet shop. Okay, okay. You're going to take up animal to uncivilize. Yeah, yeah. Can't talk and can't do it on the own. We have to take care of them. All right. We well, have human, no one have to do the right thing. Okay, okay. But my hobs are not expensive enough. Okay. It's when you want to make money more than me expensive. Okay, all right. I'm going to help you to save your life. Okay. That's way to make money out of me. That's right, that's right. Thank you. You are welcome. So, <laughs> there is. He's still talking. <laughs> he will talk all day. Now, in here in St. Vincent, if you have a passerby friend they usually talk to you by your gate they don't come into your yard um only like your family member your very very close friend they come in but usually they speak from you speak to you from outside your yard he's going to be going on every day all day so let me leave him there <laughs> so the saltfish is all the bone cleaned and the skin peeled off ready to be fried with all the vegetables that we've just cut um that's the next stage right so we put some oil in our yeah the pot looks a bit worse for wear but that's a proper caribbean pot a pot that you've been using for years so we've got the oil in there heating up ready for our salt fish we're going to put garlic first that flavors the oil and everything else like this garlic in first onions and more onions come in. Lots of onions, you need lots of flavor. Some more onions there. And some more onions. So you can see the onions and the garlic simmering away really nicely. We just need a light color on it, the fire it's not too high it's okay it's, it's, we do that for like a, a minute or two before we add i think the cabbage will be coming next the cabbage is coming in now we're doing the cabbage that's all they've been chipped up and uh we're gonna let that go for another few minutes you don't want them too soft you want them uh slightly crunchy it's horrible having soggy um onions and soggy cabbage you want a bit of a crunch to it so we're adding the salt fish now to the pot there we go so we've just added the salt fish in there so they marinate together you might lightly season it but you really you don't want to put too much food in it because it's already salt already um not all the salt will be boiled out it's impossible to boil it to nothing so that's going 
lovely. If the camera had smell, uh, smell sensors, you would smell how gorgeous this is. Gonna get a little bit of a stir. Yeah. While that's going, we've got some water boiling here on the other side, ready for our dumplings. We're just gonna bring that to a, a bit of a boil before we do some spinners or some dumplings to go in there, coconut dumpling. My mouth is watering here, guys. We just added a little bit of tomato ketchup to it, just to give it a bit of flavor. Some people don't, some people do. We just add a little bit of flavor uh, ketchup in there. We're gonna stir that in now. So um, now you can see that it's cooking nicely. The only thing we have to add is the cucumbers. We add a bit of cucumbers just for a bit of zuzam zam because we have it left over. Um, but uh, yeah, it's coming on nicely. Nice. So we've just added the cucumbers in there and we're just going to leave it for maybe another minute or so and it's done. It's done. Yep, dumplings are going. Decided not to. Well, spinners is more for soup, but these are coconut dumpling going in. I don't know why my foot is swelling so. I know it's the climate. I am sitting down, but I think it's just the climate. Look at my ankles. My feet are a bit glossy because I've got um, repellent on because these flipping mosquito love my, my blood. But um, even my toes are fat. Jesus Christ. And as soon as I get on the plane, you know, this goes right back down. Right back down. And it, look, you can see the water. I need to start taking the water tablets again, I think. So here's the bananas. And here's the skin. We're, we're kind of um, we're removing the bananas from the skin and taking off all the gunk. I hear some people say that uh, you can eat the skin. Well, I, I, I won't bloody try it, but they say you do. I've just come out here to see that someone's left a uh, real spread fruit by the door. So that would be added to our salt fish today. Okay, me and my partner's going for a little stroll around. Probably gonna go to Bayside and dip our feet. What are you saying? You chat to me? What are you chatting? What are you saying? What are you chatting and saying? Huh? I'm not, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, cuss me off, cuss me off. Tell me what you want to say now. Tell me what you want to say. Hey? All right, fair enough, later. Right, so we've come to the bay side. Just, I'll tell you what, I've only come down here to get some breeze, man, because it's it's warm, it's, it's warm. This is kind of the damage that it done down to bay side. It's like ripped off. This is what the hurricane's done. Ripped off all this down here. So I've got to be careful how I'm walking. Um, gosh, how did these get on there? This surely, I don't know. The water they said come right up to almost the buildings that we have down here. It came up to some of the buildings. Um, I don't think it would have washed up this, but I've never seen this here. And I was only, wow, okay. Well, maybe it's washed up these, uh, whatever these things are. But uh, yeah, the, remember the day I was showing you on my uh, porch the r waters? Well, this is what this is the side that we are on that we see. Um, oh yes, it did. It did wash up some of these things. Also, oh, so these big three things are usually at sea, and the hurricane has obviously blown it off onto land. But uh, yeah. This bay, every time I come here and I meet someone, they say people lose their life in there. They go and swim. They're not meant to go and swim in this because the waters are just not that sort of water. You can dip your feet. You can dip your feet, uh, you know, shallowly, but uh, 
go too deep, the wave will take your ass out to sea. And apparently a lot of people have lost their life on uh, this bay here, thinking the water looks calm, but uh, some sort of gravity pulls them in. It's just, as you can see, it's so cool down here. Absolutely gorgeous. So I said to my other half, let's go for a walk down, you know, down the bay. We're gonna walk up the top here and just walk back, just, you know, for a little stroll out. Um, but it's, it's, it's lovely. It's, lo it's lovely to look at, but not the water to go and swim in. Uh-uh, not if you... I tell you one year, I tell you a story. One year, a couple, about four years ago, I wonder if I can, if I can get a clip of the YouTube that I, um, I'll show you. We had carnival on this bay here. They had a, like a jump up and they the van came all on this bay and people playing and people playing music. They're dancing and in the distance, I could see this little head and I thought, oh, maybe it's a ball. But then I could see an arm like waving for help. Two people, one of the person right away that went on to this, this video. The other one was being pushed out, being pushed out, being pushed out. Then in the next minute, I saw the ball, like the head, go down underwater and it wasn't seen for about 10 minutes. And I said to my other half, someone is drowning out here. Someone is drowning. And I was like panicking. People's no wiser. There, a few people spotted it. People are no wiser. They're dancing. They're still playing their music and enjoying themselves. All of a sudden, a massive wave came in. And with that massive wave, the body came in and just really was lifeless. People were doing everything to try and bring him back alive and stuff like this, but without no efforts. Um, everyone's really was a bit hysterical and it, it was, I, I, I cried. I cried the whole night because it was a young, good looking boy. Young, good looking boy, just a day out, got a bit drunk, goes in that those water and loses life that evening. Can you imagine the mother, the, the, the can you imagine that news coming home to you that your son went out that 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 day came and he's and, he, and he's now you've got to go and ah it's horrible but um nevertheless um like when me <laughs> when i bring my son i say tip your walk your, your feet there like just at the very edge here we don't go no further in fact we hardly tip our feet right? unless it comes up like this um, because that water is too, too violent, too, too violent. But, um, I mean, water's lovely to look at, but it's not, not to be played with. Not, there's parts on the islands like Indian Bay and there's some other little uh, beaches you can do and it will be absolutely safe. But this side of the, the island, the water is very rough. Yeah, very rough, very rough. Um, but now they're starting to do like parties and events here. Um, when we came down in Christmas, they had a massive, massive uh, stages and artists, and it was great. It was absolutely great. So yeah, let me enjoy uh, what's left of the evening, and then go home and have me um, sart fish and breadfruit and whatever I can else I can put with me dinner. Well, I say uncle, but it's my partner's 
uncle has just built, he's the first person to come on Stubbs Bay to build uh, um, an apartment complex, like a hotel, bar, everything. If I reckon in the next maybe 10, 15 years, you'll see loads of people come and start building. It just takes one person to come and build and then everyone else follows suit, don't they? There's my other half. He doesn't look like he wants to go home. He's taking his merry old bloody time. I wish he would put away that big belly. He needs to put back that big belly. He doesn't give a shit. His belly's too big. He eats too bloody much. <laughs> I don't want to go home now. I don't know what that was. I was trying to do a thumbnail there. <laughs> trying to get a thumbnail. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> English woman. Right. I think we've been on here for whew, about half an hour. We're going to make tracks back home. Take our time. The evening's getting in a bit dark now. Um, so the light is going to be a little bit, a little bit going. So guys, look, if you like this sort of content, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That'd be wicked if you can just smash the like or share or subscribe. Just do anything you want with any of the buttons along here. I don't mind. Whether you subscribe is fine. I know you're viewing. Um, just hit one of the buttons. Know me as a person and I get to know you guys as a person because I've got one of the most wickedest community on YouTube I don't care what anyone says you guys are wicked and um, I'm going to I'll, I'll put a picture of our dinner tonight because as I said we'll be late by the time we get any good daylight but guys thank you once again enough love peace and out bye bye